What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another week of Momentum Wad training. My name is Brandon, and today I'm going to coach and guide you through this Fortify System Wad, anti-glycolytic kettlebell workouts that will forge a powerful and resilient body. Today's Fortify Wad, as you may be aware, is going to be a 10 by 10 workout. You're going to perform 10 sets of 10 repetitions of powerful ballistic movements, and then follow those up with strength-based movements afterwards. The exercises included in today's workout will be as follows. The two arm swing, the one arm swing, the snatch, the kneeling overhead press, the overhead press, and the jerk press. For the first portion of today's workout, a moderate and heavy kettlebell would be best. Also, it would be a good idea to have some chalk on hand. Let's kick things off with two arm swings. Let's grab that heavy bell and get to it. Good luck today. Remember to keep the core braced and the spine neutral as we're swinging. You want to keep your neck and back safe and free of injury as we're working through this. The end of every swing should resemble a tall standing plank. The core should be braced, shoulders stable, spine neutral, and lower body engaged. This position should be maintained for a moment as the bell floats at the top of each and every repetition.
So what do you do with your free hand when performing a one arm swing? The opposite hand can mimic the motion of the swinging arm, generating momentum for the follow through, creating a fist or shielding the face once at full extension, or can tap the handle of the bell at the apex of the motion. Make sure not to exaggerate the motion of the free hand, potentially offsetting your balance and rhythm of the swinging movement. There will be a moment where the bell floats during the upswing of the movement. At this precise instance, punch upwards and through to direct the bell vertically and prevent it from slamming on your forearm. It's all about timing. Initiate the descent of the snatch by flicking the wrist into flexion and allowing the elbow to approximate to the rib cage, staying close to the body as the bell begins to fall downwards.
This is your last set of ballistics before we move on to the strength building portion of today's workout. You have 10 repetitions of the snatch on the left hand side. Let's chalk up those hands and get after it. We're now moving away from ballistics and towards grinding strength-based movements. You're kicking things off with five repetitions of the kneeling overhead press on each side. For this exercise, because you lack the strong base that you would normally have with a standing overhead press, it's going to be even more important that you create a significant amount of tension throughout your body. Squeeze the opposite hand, engage the glutes, engage the core, and make sure you're breathing. Kettlebell overhead press differs from a traditional dumbbell or barbell military press in a number of ways. First, the kettlebell press is performed in standing as opposed to sitting. Doing this creates a more functional exercise that requires your entire body to participate. Second, in momentum mod programming, because we only require one kettlebell, this exercise is performed unilaterally in our programming. Believe it or not, this demands further control and stabilization to perform particularly from the opposite side of the body. Lastly, the kettlebell as an implement is built much differently than traditional strength training equipment. 
The weight is more consolidated, but the distribution of that weight is not symmetrical. Hence, a lesser weight feels heavier and is more effective at building a stronger, denser body. The jerk allows you to move a lot more weight for reps than the strict overhead press. The push press is somewhere in between.
and for the final set of your first workout of the week, you have five repetitions of the jerk on each side. Grab a heavy kettlebell and let's do it. Last set, best set. 